Yo, what's going on with the game? Welcome back to the Welcome back to more Skylanders Fire's Adventure, where in the last episode, we tackled the sixth chapter of the game, which was Darkwater Cove, and in this episode, we're going to be tackling the seventh chapter of the game, Leviathan Lagoon. Just diving straight into the action this time, no extra steps necessary. Oh, you ready to go and get savagely eaten by a giant fish? Uh, I mean, find the eternal water source? Yes. Yes, I am. I hate this part. More pirates? Sheesh! Like I don't get enough of these guys. They might be looking for the statues in these islands, too. So watch your tail fin out there. Oh, and if you see a giant killer fish along the way, don't call me. But says the eternal water source will only reveal itself if you place all four statues in the shrine. So get them all! Okay, so something I need to make very clear about this level is that even though it's water themed and we are getting the eternal water source episode, do not stay in the water for an extended period of time. In fact, I'm gonna dash across this water because if you do stay in for an extended period of time, then the, look, look, there's a leviathan down there. Look, you can see the leviathan. And if you stay underwater for too long, the leviathan will see you and eat you. And we don't really want that to happen. We want to keep our Skylanders alive. Thank you very much. Don't step on this teleporter because it's just going to warp you right back out of here. Skylanders of the water element are stronger in this zone. I couldn't guess. Okay, so there's this guy right here. This That guy has our hat. And I don't like the fact that he has our hat. Now, there's two ways that you can take this guy down. You can either take him out with... A fast Skylander, or someone with a long-range attack. I did it with a long-range attack. And actually, before we get this hat, we're gonna knock you two over the edge. Man, th that, because th if, you, if you missed it last episode, we upgraded our harpoon gun, and that did a lot of damage to those two guys. It's basically a one, excuse me, a one-shot now. And anyway, now we have Napoleon hat. All hats found. No, I don't want to wear the hat right now. And there's also a treasure chest right here, so that's nice. And now with that done, that's this area entirely cleared out, and now that I've shown off Gilgrunt's ability, something I actually am going to do is, now that I've upgraded this, these, this guy, I'm going to switch to a new water person so that I can start upgrading more Skylanders. And the first one we're going to use is... Zap. Odd name for a water Skylander, but unfortunately, he must be reset. And as you can see, I've, I've upgraded him a lot, and there goes the cap to the Skylander box. He must be reset. Alright, sorry about that little delay, I just had to get the cap back on the box. Or at least nearby the box, anyway, okay. So we're gonna walk down the path, and it's gonna see a brute over here, but more importantly... A, a habanero steals anything not nailed down, specifically in this or in, the, in this instance, statues that we kind of need in order to get the eternal water source. So we are going to chase him down, and you can just see how much weaker Zap is compared to Gilbert. But we must persevere because we need to upgrade a lot of. I want to upgrade a lot of Skylanders by the end of this. So stand back and fire at him from a distance, just like we did. In the water gate, he's gonna run back and forth for a little bit. So just gonna fire at him from a distance, and eventually he'll get knocked down. And we're going to grab hold of the statue. And there's that second one over there. So we're gonna break through this fence really quickly and keep on moving on. But first, we're gonna get rid of these little guys because they're just annoying. They're not—they're not a threat. They're just—they're just annoying. Ch Chavis aren't even annoying, they're just cute and weak. Anyway. Okay, Turtle Reef. Life element, Life element to say, well, sure thing, buddy. And we're gonna use 
Stump Smash. Yeah, let's use Stump Smash. Now, as you may have been able to gather, this island is going to feature some turtles for us to play with. So, before, but before we do that, we're gonna get knock knock some sense into you, and you, you are also gonna get sense knocked into, if I may. Thank you. Have a nice day. So now what we need to do is push all these guys in the line. So push this one forward twice. Push this one left once. This one forward once. Oh wait, no, I did this wrong. Sorry. We need to push this to the left. No, that's not left. I don't. Oh, great. I'm making this very hard for myself. Up, then move around to the right and push left. Now we can push you into. Uh, yes, we can push you into position, then push this one to the right, and then forward two spots. Count them one, count them two, and we have made a line out of the turtle, or a bridge out of the turtles. So let's do that. Alright. Cross the gap, and I failed. There we go. That's what, sh what should have happened the last time. Okay. Now, there's going to be another one of these hobbin yobbin people that's going to show up and steal the key. I don't like the fact that he stole my key. So what are we going to do? Well, first we're going to grab the story scroll. A note from Professor P. Grungalley says, For years, fishermen have hunted an enormous hungry fish that lurked in the deep end of the lagoon. No one has seen the fish lately. All the fishermen have come to think of it. Now, if you don't have any long-range weapons and, and you aren't very fast, in which case I am, this is what we're gonna do. I guess this could technically be a long range weapon, but I want to show off the way, the universal way to defeat these guys, non-dependent on your Skylanders. If you push this turtle to the left such that it blocks that bridge, this Hobbin Yobbin is now going to- wait, that is the name of this guy, right? Hobbin Yobbin? I think so. Or is it Hobbin Yarrow? I don't know. But it's gonna- it's gonna make him so that he is trapped. So we're gonna follow him around, he's thinking, oh, I'm so clever, he's, yeah, I'm never gonna catch him. But then he's gonna stop and realize, oh wait, I'm kind of screwed now. So then we're gonna beat him and take back the key. Thank you. Alright. And we're gonna move back and use this key to unlock the door. So let's do just that. Door unlocked. Now we can keep on trucking on. Okay. Sure thing. Let's go right back to using... Zap. So we're gonna push this to the left, and then we're going to need to push. Yeah, that second statue gone. Now we need to push the once we once you push it out, you need to push it back because obviously you obviously can see a soldier up there, which we're gonna grab in a, in a minute here. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is just we're gonna smash a few things up first so that we can get some, some treasures, and then there's gonna be some. Uh, hi, hi. hi, hi, brute. Uh, why am I, why was I not aware that you were there? Hello, Blastineer. You can take some zaps to the face. What are zaps things even called? Lightning breath. Take take some lightning breath. Do you like your lightning breath? Nah, me neither. It smells like morning breath. Uh, except that in this particular instance, this lightning breath kind of saved my life, so we're gonna go with it. Alright, so now we're gonna step on this teleporter once the area is clear. And then move our way across this way and grab... Thank you. A soul gem. You found a soul gem. New powers available. Love for the sea for Zap. Would you like to preview Zap? Sure, let's preview the character we are currently using. Places look familiar? Well, we're in one of them right now. Seawater slide. Wait, so that is what it's called, right? Sea slime slide! Yeah! Let me move to the south of the beach and then move across this plank to find ourselves a treasure chest. I fell off the island, but we can still get the treasure chest. But we don't really want to stay in the water for that long because remember what I told you about the Leviathan? It eats people. We don't want to be eaten. 
Oh, thank you. Let's just grab this treasure as fast as we can and get ourselves onto And, and we were eaten. Well, at least I get to show you what you do if you do get eaten. Shoot the back of the uvula until you are released at the beginning of the level. Here we are, back again. Unfortunately, if you get eaten by the Leviathan, which you can't, sometimes can't even see coming, you will, unfortunately, have to start off near the beginning of the level. But it shouldn't be too big of a detriment. Alright, I think I'm going to try to upgrade Zap this episode, since we've been using him a lot. And of course, another one of these habaneros decided to pop up out of who the frickety frack knows where, and steal the statue that is rightfully ours. So, it's what we're going to do. Oh, wait, you're right here. Oh. I thought maybe it would be a bit more challenging than that, we just kind of walked right into it. Okay, so, what you, what I like to do is just push the turtle in front of the bridge, and then use that to outsmart the habanero, but apparently this time I can just see water slam my way right into him, and we're all good. Alright, let's go take this brew out over here. Let's do that. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Just zap you real quickly, and you should be done. I got stuck. I kind of want to keep Zap alive so, so I can get more coins to upgrade him. To upgrade him. Even if I can only afford the 500 coin, or the 500 cost uh, power-up, I, I kind of want to keep him alive, so I'd like it if we could do that. Thank you. About time you got here. What? I took a shortcut. Okay, the pirates have captured the last statue, loaded it onto their ship, and are making a run for it. We've got to stop them. Get in that cannon. Aim for the masts. I'd do it myself, of course, but, you know, <laughs> fish eye. So, actually, before we do that, we're going to go get that treasure chest that I almost forgot about. Just gotta circle around back here, and get the treasure chest, so that we at least have enough. This should, this should get us enough for at least the 500 coin, a 500 cost upgrade. Let's... And that's easily more than enough. And, oh, we even have enough for the 700 cost now. We don't have enough for both, but we have enough... We have enough for either, we don't have enough for both. And that's all I care about. If Zap dies now, even though I, I, I don't want, I don't want to lose Zap since we've grown close to him since the beginning of the level. I... Uh, it doesn't matter as much now that we have enough... enough coins. Anyway. Uh, so just a bit pretty simple, just shoot the cannonballs out of the air when applicable and just take it down. It's pretty simple. Okay. Now, I know it's going to sound crazy, but I actually want to get eaten by the Le by the Leviathan now. Why do I want to get eaten by the Leviathan? Because the legendary treasure spawns as a result of you taking down the, sh the pirate ship. And the legendary treasure spawns because of that. And where does it spawn? Inside the Leviathan. Don't ask me why, but it simply does. In fact, if we if we get a hundred more coins with uh, Zap, we actually will have enough to get both. So, if we can just keep if we can just if of course if we can just keep him alive long enough, where that can be applicable. But hey, actually wait, let's check on what's left. Oh, nothing. That's everything. All right. So now we can just focus- oh, I guess it makes sense considering what's- oh, wait, 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 let's grab this. And is that enough? Nope, not yet. I, I really want to get 1,200 coins so that we have enough to upgrade to, for both of Zap's upgrades. And is this stuff going to be enough to push me over the edge? I think so. It should be. Yes, it is. Alright. We now have enough to both per to purchase both the 500 and the 700 upgrade. So that's good. And we have all four shrines, so if Zap- Will you look at that? So, if Zap unfortunately dies in the next battle, while I will miss him for the rest of the level, I won't feel too bad, just because now we have everything we need to upgrade him. 
Okay, all areas found. We are now approaching the shrine. So let's actually let's get this food so we can restore some of his health. Da -da -da. Like so, dash past you with my seawater slime. And we have a lot more health back for Zap now, so we, we may actually be able to keep him alive because coming up next isn't isn't the ending of this level isn't like previous levels. Previous levels, it's just been kind of normal, like save the villagers or rescue Cali or take down the golden propeller. But this level offers something a little bit more interesting. Find the water source. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A stupid Skylander and Eon's Portal Master apprentice. And I see you just happen to be looking for the eternal water source. <laughs> Correction. My eternal water source? Well, you're too late. I am Chaos, Emperor of Skylands, and a real portal master. And you are never getting out of here alive. <laughs> My evil water dragon will take care of you. Attack! Golly gee whiz, this looks familiar, because it's a, a clone of Zap. This is kind of why I wanted to keep Zap alive for the, uh, for this, because this is a, our first real boss battle. Sure, you can consider the Golden Propeller thing a boss battle, but I consider this to be the first real boss battle. Anyway, the best time to attack is when he cranes his neck upwards and celebrates like that. Other than that, he's gonna fire three electric bursts, then he's gonna celebrate. That's your time to attack is when he fires those three electric bursts, and I, I actually, no joke, lost lost track of which zap w was me. And we might just be able to survive this. That's the third one. Now we can attack, we can attack, we can attack, we can attack. Almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. Yes! Ah! So, you defeated my minion. Big deal. I'm just getting started. I summon the deadly shark bath of Doom Sharks! Now this is the interlude between boss battles, because if you haven't noticed, it's going... The boss battles in these kinds of things... Sometimes when you're after an, an internal source, what'll happen is... You'll go up against Chaos, and then he'll send three min three clones of our Skylanders out against us. So, you know what happens is, if you get close to a shark and you survive the slow motion sequence, you'll actually regenerate some health, which is kind of neat, but it can also be really risky, because if you, if, you if you hit the shark in the slow motion sequence, then you'll lose more health than you gain, which sometimes isn't worth it, but we're almost at full health now, so that's good. Anyway. So yeah, he'll he'll send three clones of our Skylanders out. The first one was Zap, or his evil water dragon. Next up is. Hmm. You seem to be lucky. Sort of. Well, your luck has run out. Now you face my evil, amphibious, kill man! <laughs> His evil Gill Man, also known as a Gill Grunt clone. He fires three bursts of harpoons at you, and then he's gonna dash towards you. So to, 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 to dodge them, you just wanna kinda circle around a little bit, and then you'll usually avoid the harpoons. Then just blast Zap's attack at him, and then he'll water it out of the way, and then the whole harpoon cycle starts over again. The slime water slam is especially useful here, even though I haven't used it yet. He waters it out of the way, and then he's gonna start his harpoon cycle over again. And then we can fire at him, you're gonna watch it out of the way. Can I get you before you start shooting again? No, but I still got you anyway. Ah, 
You may have tested my evil amphibious kill man for now. But this is far from over. Far from it? I summon the even deadlier shark bath of Doom Sharks! Okay, let's get that food. Okay, back up to full back up to full health. That's good. More sharks, just avoid them because we don't really need the health anymore. Although, again, the health didn't do anything for us. Because we're at full health, we're at maximum health. But now the sharks are actually going to be moving. Like, they're moving horizontally rather than just moving towards us vertically. So you need to be watch, you need to be mindful of those. Because you really don't want to get hit by one of them. <sighs> then again, you, we can make up the health by going into slow motion near one of these guys. I guess it doesn't matter too much. But we still want to try to avoid getting hit as much as possible. And then we have one more clone of a Water Skylander to go. And then that will be boss fight over. So to survive this shark sequence, we get to fight against another one of Chaos's evil clones. And then we are good to go. Impossible! You survived my best water spell! And, uh, I mean, you survived a very mediocre water spell that I found like a grab somewhere. I am not impressed! And neither is my evil ice yeti! Attack! Also known as Evil Slam Bam. So he's gonna fire ice against the ground and then he's gonna celebrate and then he's gonna start swinging his arms in the air. Whenever he does that King Kong gorilla thing, that's when you should attack because he's gonna be really distracted with celebrating himself and he's not really gonna bother with you at all. So that's your time to strike and then immediately slide out of the way as soon as he starts moving towards you. That's gonna be your key to defeating. Also, I just remembered that there is one more stage after defeating the evil Ice Yeti, also known as Slam Bam 2.0. So, we're not done just yet. Still one more stage after this, but it is the most interesting one. Okay, so maybe you're slightly good at fighting my water minions one-on-one. -on -one. Ah! Let's see how you do against all three at once! <laughs> We're ready for battle! Yeah, we fight them all side by side. Z okay, let me give you let me give you a tip. Focus on Zap. Because he moves fast and the, those electric shocks of his are dangerous. Meanwhile, stay the heck away from the evil Ice Yeti. Stay as far away from the Ice Yeti as possible. And just kind of in your peripheral vision, keep an eye on Grill Gilgrun so you can watch for the harpoon guns and dodge them when possible. You don't really need to observe Gilgrun too heavily, but you, it helps to know where he is. Now focus on the evil Ice Yeti. And again, use the same strategy from before where you attack him when he's in his celebratory King Kong phase. And by the way, the sharks, this is especially where the slow motion shark thing comes in handy. Because we really need to regain health. Alright, come on. Come on, Ice Yeti. Come on. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Attack the Ice Yeti next. And attack when he's in the celebratory phases. He's so low. He is so unbelievable low. But then, then again, so am I. I need health. I need health. I need health. Come on, sharks. Come on, sharks. Be my friend. Be my friend, sharks. Okay. Should be enough to get me through this boss battle. Shoot through the sharks. Shoot through the sharks. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's two down. Gil, Gil, Gilman is next, and then we're done. Come on, Gilman. Come on, show me what you got. Show me what you got, Gilman. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. A battle of the water. A battle of the water. And you are done. Ah, my minions. My beautiful minions. Fine! Take it! Take the eternal water source, fool! See if I can. Soon you too will fear my giant floating head like everyone else! And you will pay! Big Gunshake, turn this off! Okay, 
grab the eternal water source to finish the level. Also, it should be known that the uh, the cleared and under thing doesn't continue on into the boss battles. So you can take as long as you want with the boss battle. That only applies to everything pre-boss battle, just to let you know. You have brought the eternal water source. Excellent, young portal master. Now water shall return to the core of light. Is everything all right? Of course everything is all right. Why wouldn't everything be all right? Well, I just thought that since the Skylanders got the eternal water source... Ha! Do you hear me? I say ha! Those fools think they're winning. Well, they're not. Know why? Why? Because the darkness is spreading, Glumshanks. No matter their feeble attempts to rebuild Eon's machine, I am still winning! Ha! <laughs> Now is everything all right? Hi, Black! Excellent! The eternal water source is once again part of the core of light. But the darkness will continue to spread until we have all the eternal sources. Now that was unexpected. Hmm. I need to do a little research to find where you must go next. But in the meantime, why don't you investigate the beach down there? I've been hearing strange noises coming from there for a while. Let's get the beach. We will be doing that next time. Before we do that, before, before we end off the episode, let's go upgrade Zap. You've been a faithful little friend for us this episode, buddy. It's time to give you the upgrade you deserve. And we're not saving up for this because it's not that i mean i had him on my uh, in the other safe or before i reset zap i did have this just so i could have everything upgraded but i don't think it's that useful shoot sea slimes to electrify them and shock enemies yes we're gonna purchase this and then we are going to purchase the other upgrade which is lighting breath does attack does increase damage. Mm. Sea slimes stay electrified for much longer. Yeah, okay, sure. All right. So Zap has now been upgraded, and I think I am happy with the upgrades that we have. So that's gonna be this episode of Skylanders: Pirates Adventure. So. I would like to thank you all for watching. This is you for the next episode. And also, then, this has been a game of Magic Routine. Signing off, saying, Hope you have a fantastic, cool, good day. And I will catch you next time for some more Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. Goodbye.